Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jerry. My channel is Jerry Tactical, and we're sitting down here on the Freedom Bench. So, thanks for joining me for a, another episode. So, today we're going to review a bipod that I had picked up for my sporterized uh, 6.5 by 55 Swedish Mauser. Um, wanted to put a bipod on this rifle and you know I didn't want to spend a boatload of money so you know, doing some research and you know watching uh, plenty of videos there on you know on the platforms you know YouTube gun streamer uh, a few others um, you know I came across the Caldwell uh, XLA pivot bipod and um, it's been out oh roughly at least a couple years um, so I'm not the first to do this review and you know I, I just want to do a quick review with this uh, to give you my perspective uh, so this is it this is the bipod right here okay um, like I said, it's Caldwell X XLA Pivot Bipod, and it's a uh, six to nine inch. They also make a, I think it's nine to thirteen inch, and actually they make two other versions that are a little bit bigger, or you know that extend even more. Um, but I went with this version, and um, we're going to, or. I'm going to review this and uh, hopefully you'll stick around and uh, enjoy the show. So stay tuned. We're going to change camera angles here and uh, we're going to do a tabletop review of this. So I'll see you back here in a second. Thanks. All right, guys, we're back here. So this is going to be a quick unboxing and tabletop review of the, the bipod here. So let's just open this thing up and get it out of the box and let me show you what we got here. Alrighty. So let me just set that aside. Okay, so this is just like uh, most bipods. This is going to be for a uh, sling swivel um, type okay so this is going to open up right here and that's going to uh, connect your uh, sling swivel on your rifle or on a Let me get one of these out here real quick I know I got one handy aha there it is right here okay you can also use some sort of an adapter like this, okay, uh, for this. So, um, it is by Caldwell. Um, and, like I said, this is a 6 to 9. So, right here on the, on the bench here. So, I've got... Um, a ruler sitting out here so here let's put it on this side so you can see it okay so it is six inches and then we're gonna pop these legs out okay boom boom and you can see it jumps out to the nine inch range okay which is great okay um, now this material on this is uh, the majority of the material on this is aluminum okay this is a Harris uh, I don't want to necessarily say a clone, but it's modeled after the Harris Bipod. Um, the Harris Bipod, uh, it, the patent on the Harris Bipod has now expired. So there are companies like Caldwell, uh, CV Life, uh, a lot of Chinese knockoffs are, you know, well, the Chinese knockoffs have been around for a while. But uh, the reason why Caldwell came out with this is... Uh, because the Harris um, patent had had expired, so they were able to 
copy it. Uh, it it's pretty much the same bipod, okay? Other than the fact that the majority of this is made out of aluminum and not steel like the Harris bipod, okay? So you've got uh, nice rubberized uh, feet. And if you see, okay, these feet can be removed. Uh, these are roll pins. These can be knocked out. And you can buy any uh, any uh, replacement footed uh, feet uh, that are out there for... Uh, you know, bipod uh, replacement feet. So if you want the pointy ones or there's some other ones, uh, you can replace these easily, okay? Um, so these things just snap right back down. By pushing this button, they snap right back, okay? So they it folds out like so, okay? The spring tension on these is really pretty stiff, okay? Now you can see this is roughly, the spring itself is, is roughly about an inch worth of spring where on the Harris bipod, that spring was the full length of this. Why they decided to change it, I'm guessing, uh, one, uh, they didn't uh, feel they needed to uh, put that much on there with this being aluminum because it's a little lighter. And uh, speaking of weight, I've got my scale here. We're gonna set this down. And what we have is 10.2 ounces. And let's just verify that. We'll go back to zero and we'll come back up to that. So this thing weighs 10.2 ounces, okay? So the reason why this is the pivot is this screw right here. You unscrew this to loosen it up. And then that's what allows this to pivot on these little flexible wings. Okay, I don't know if you can see that really well. Okay, like so. Okay, so the reason why I went with this bipod was because of the pivoting motion for this. So using that bolt action rifle, uh, you know, I plan to shoot it off the bench, but then I'll be hunting with that rifle and God only knows what. So when you have this pivoting action, you're able to get that rifle level, okay, because I run a bubble level on my scope and that's what I use to make sure that I'm relatively as level as possible. And when you can pivot the rifle, depending on the ground you're on, okay, that's the whole purpose of the pivot. So this pivot, there's 20 degrees worth of pivot, okay? So you just tighten this knob back up like so, and it stops pivoting, okay? And it will move a little bit, put a nice little oomph on it, and it's locked back in, okay? So we have got, okay, so this portion right here, is what's going to tighten this down. Once you get it mounted on your sling swivel, you're gonna you're gonna turn this clockwise, and that'll take up the slack and adjustment, and it'll tighten this up to the rifle. Now you can see that little piece right there is set up for a Phillips screwdriver. I don't know if I would crank it on that tight, but in some instances you might you know, once you get it hand tight, you might want to turn it an eighth or a quarter of a turn more, just so that it, it's it's on there super tight. I don't think it's going to be necessary to do that, okay? Now, I've read on some, some questions on some of the videos, is where would you attach your sling for this? Now, believe it or not, there are two sling points for this. You have your your, what I would call your normal position where you could put attach your sling swivel okay whoops let me get that back in there come on of course okay so let's fold this back up might be a little easier to see okay and of course it just doesn't want to okay so you got this hole right here is where your sling swivel would attach if you're attaching a sling to your bolt action rifle or even if you're, you're attaching it to your 
uh, AR-15 or your, your AR-10. But the cool thing about this that I have not seen anybody mention, okay, is the fact that it comes with a second point where you can attach a, a, a sling swivel. And that's right here, okay? This little piece right here, you see that hole right there, okay? It's got an adjustable, let me open this back up. It's got an adjustable screw head right here. Let me get this out of the way again. So it's got a nylock nut right here, okay? Right there that you can unscrew to get that hole, you know, perfectly level and set up. So if you want to run your, okay, your, your sling or your, um, you know, your, your sling swivel attachment for your sling, you can run it through this hole or you can run it through the traditional spot at the front of it, okay, which is really cool. So um, that's about it. This thing, like I said, um, I've already had it mounted on the rifle, and <clears throat> this thing is really, really, uh, it's, it's, it's really it enhances <clears throat> the ability for me to keep that rifle steady. Whether I'm sitting prone on the ground, on the bench, um, you know, it's really nice. The legs pop out really nice. Okay. They go back in real easy. Pop back right into place. Okay. Just push that. Boom. Like so. Okay. Like I said, you unscrew this. And that will open this up to pivot. Okay. Back and forth. And that's about it, man. Um, you can't go wrong. The, even, at a, even at a $40 price point. Uh, this this is a great deal. There is, in my opinion, okay, now this is just my opinion, I am not military, I am not law enforcement. This will suit most people's needs, okay? At a $40 price point, this is a solid, solid bipod at a fair price, okay? It's not at the lower end cheap stuff, where you know the CV lives and the you know the Chinese knockoffs, um, those I've got a couple of them. They're nowhere near as good as this. Okay, the nice thing is you can put this sling adapter on. Okay, and I'll just show you flat off. It goes right on like so. I'm gonna tighten this up. I picked this up off of Amazon. Okay, so there's my sling, or my sling. There's my Picatinny rail adapter, QD style. Okay, and now I can pop this on and off all day long if I wanted to put this on an AR-15 or an AR-10. Now I don't know how much recoil this thing is going to really hold up on. Um, I'm going to guess that it'll do fairly decent uh, for a 308 AR-10. I, I don't know. I haven't taken it out and shot it on any, any that kind of a platform. Um, will it hold up? You know, for you know a thousand rounds? I don't know. I'm not going to say I know because I don't know. Now, on a 5.56 or something with lighter recoil, I think this thing is going to last a lifetime or a pretty darn long time, even with bumping it around and scraping it up. I don't see this being an issue or a problem. Uh, quality made, good stuff here, you guys. Um, I, I, I don't think you can go wrong for the price. For $40, um, you can pick up this adapter off of, off of Amazon. There's multiple different ones out there. Uh, they go from like five bucks all the way. I think I've seen them all the way up to 20 bucks. And well, you know what? Uh, you kind of get what you pay for. So when I say that, you get what you pay for when you buy this. Not saying that this is better than a Harris, but it is pretty darn close to a Harris bipod. And if I'm not mistaken, the Harris bipod is almost 14 ounces. And you just saw, 
we'll, we'll just weigh this again with the adapter on there. This is now with the with the Picatinny rail adapter has gone up to 12.4 ounces. Uh, without it, it was 10.2 ounces. Great bipod, in my opinion. This is going to work out perfectly for the bolt action rifle that I have it on. Uh, you can't go wrong. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I truly appreciate it if you would uh, mash that thumbs up button, you guys. Just mash the heck out of it. I need some freaking likes, please. It, it, it would be so appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, share the video. You know the routine. Guys, I truly appreciate it. Uh, once again, this is Jeer Bear Tactical. I truly appreciate you guys stopping by. And like I always say, I hope to see you out there on that firing line. Later.